<laughs> Yippee! Psychedelic experience record run number 32. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This uh, particular incense nugget. Yeah. We've got lotus and musk amber. Ooh. <laughs> right? Ooh. <laughs> so things might get a little bit uh, interesting. Yeah. Oh. All right. Anyway. Tons of records since we last did a video. Yeah. This will be a short video. We will try to catch up in the coming weeks. Obviously, our schedules are probably going to make that difficult, but I've been shopping in a ton of places. I got a ton of free records. I went to New York City, so I'm going to just try to get through this and get through these videos as quickly as possible. So, all right. Got a day off a while back. Went out to Reverb in Blono. Couple cool nuggets I picked up from John there. Ten bucks, right on Sunset Strip there. Tower Records it is the brown label, brownish orangish label thing. So that's pretty awesome. freaking cool. Yeah. And it's a cool way to get uh, a couple of Chocolate Watch Band songs on vinyl yeah. for fairly cheap. So. Pretty cool stuff there. The Standells featured on this one. The Mugwumps um, with the track Sunset Sally. I also like Deborah Travis's Old Country, kind of a little bit more folky, but uh, some cool stuff on here. So check out Ride on Sunset Strip. I really do need to see the film now yeah. that I have the LP. So I, you know, one more thing to do to add to the to-do list. Smelly yellow. <laughs> I don't have a ton of pre-March St. Louis record show finds, so I've got a couple here that I got as VCLT, um, one that I got from eBay, and then two teasers from the St. Louis record show, a little teaser in the business there. So we'll kick things off with the VCLT. These two are coming from Steve, AKA Firemoon42 on YouTube. Thank He's, you, Steve. Oh, it's amazing. He's from the UK. He was in a band called, or is in a band even, I think they're still around, called Tubula Dog. They've played shows with Hawkwind and some other things, which is amazing. So Steve has some cool stories, um, including one I'll share in a little bit. But sent the Psych Professor and I both two albums and uh, two recent reissues, releases, and then two vintage albums. So first up is the reissue, or I guess initial release, of Dantelion's Chariot. This is called Chariot Rising. It's a compilation of some singles that they recorded between I think like 66 and 68. They had one single that was released at the time, I believe it was uh, Mad Men Running, Mad Men Running Through the Fields, the opening track, there it is. Um, so that was the one that was released, it's super rare, and then they found some recordings that they had put out and never really released, put together this compilation. I've listened to a few on YouTube, I just haven't had a chance to crack the seal and give, uh, give this a good listen yet, but this was mega generous. Yeah. Also at Reverb, picked up. Yes. This is the eighth day, the album on the eighth day. Uh, total pop psych with uh, some religious undertones, things like um, that good old fashioned way and a track uh, called, oh my goodness, here, Building with a Steeple. So, you know, a little bit churchy, but also. Seriously, could this get more uh, sunshiny? Actually, here's what I'm gonna, I've, I've dubbed this raindrop pop for songs like It Takes the Rain to Make the Flowers Grow. <laughs> this was another $10 drop and uh, just again, thanks to John for all he does for us up at, at Reverb. He lent yeah. me a book and everything and uh, I hope he scored big at the last St. Louis show which Melly Yellow is gonna tease here in just a bit. The Vintage VCLT now from Steve. This is John Martin Solid Air. I love this. This was the first thing I played when he sent it to me. It was like, I opened the pack and I was like, oh, I want to hear what this sounds like. I'm a big fan of Riley Walker, who uh, put out Primrose Green a couple years ago uh, and had another album this year, Golden Sings That Have Been Sung or something like that. And I love it. And everybody always says John Martin had to have been a huge influence on him. So I wanted to hear what it sounded like. And the opening track is the title track. And it's spot on. Like the influence of, of John Martin on Riley Walker's work is apparent. It is, it's clear as day where he gets uh, some of his musical inspiration from. This is all amazing. It's sort of jazz influenced folk rock. I love it. This 
it was Steve told me on Facebook, we were talking back and forth a little bit about the album, and he said it's a perfect, like, summer's night, the sun's setting, you're on your back porch with a cold drink, put that album on. It's exactly what this uh, sort of brings up to your mind. You can kind of close your eyes and picture it when you're listening to the album. It's so good. This is the first album I've heard from him and I'm excited to find more. So big, big thanks to Steve on that. In early February, shout out to our man Phil in the Midwest for the first time in like three or four years, maybe even closer to, well, four yeah, years probably. Least, yeah. And uh, was up in Chicago for a conference. I said, does anybody want to go up there and meet him just for the night? Buddies of ours met up there. We were there for less than 15 hours in most cases, <laughs> but it was just awesome to see Phil. You know, the opportunity to do a little record shopping in Chicago, I couldn't pass it up. And I uh, picked up the DJ Mellow Yellow approved yeah. Bangor Flying Circus. A little bit organy jazzy, but yeah. fun stuff. And I'm gonna give it a few more spins here. Um, kind of a cool back cover too. That's yeah. really the sort of, that's that's the selling point on that one. So, Bangor Flying Surface, for Circus, this is on the ABC Dunhill label. Um, not a tough one to find, no. but this is actually in pretty good condition, which is with an original inner, which was what I was, I was glad to have. Yeah. Alright, an eBay find. Uh, one of our watchers, YouTube watchers, radio show listeners, Instagram friends, whatever you want to call it, gave me a heads up to this. Rob and Kristen, they sent me an Instagram message and said, hey, I don't know if you came across this eBay listing, it's a buy it now, you may want to pop on this. It was for Frantic's Conception album. This was $10.99 shipped. White label promo usually goes for 20 or 30 bucks, and this is one of the coolest covers ever. I, I just think that's amazing. It looks like it'd be proto-punk or something like that. And it's not quite that heavy and hard, but it is heavy and hard rock. But there is some great stuff on here. Wicked Woman, kind of a cool cover of Hey Joe. Everybody did that Everybody song. Everybody covered Hey Joe, man. But it, it gets a little heavy on here. Morning Dew is another really good cover on here. Just lots of hard driving, upbeat, in your face, kind of hard rock, early, early hard rock. 68 or 69 in this. Love it. This is fantastic. This was a great find. So, Rob and Kristen, thanks for the heads up on that. Alright, another one I picked up at uh, Reckless Records in Chicago. Yeah. My first Tim Buckley album. Yeah, he's... Happy Sad. He's different. He is different. Yeah. Um, I would say this is one where the front cover is not great, but the back cover does yeah. give it a little bit. It's not psych. It's definitely yeah. folk poppy a little bit more. But uh, Buzz and Fly is the standout yeah. track, and that one's a lot of fun. Uh, really, kind of folk pop sensibilities, but a little bit deeper. Definitely going yeah. on. A lot of people are familiar with the story of Tim Buckley, and of course his son Jeff Buckley, yeah. and the tragic tragic for deaths yeah. for both of them. But uh, this is my first sort of foray into Tim Buckley. I'm looking forward to picking up a couple more of these um, Electra yeah. 4000 series. They unfortunately just don't come that cheap, and if you see no, them they cheap, don't. they're beat to yeah. death. And so I ponied up for this one a little bit, but it's it's been a really enjoyable record and really, you know, when I see that Electra, I just yeah. got to hop. You know what I mean? <laughs> now for a little bit of a teaser of the St. Louis Record Show from March. I found some cool stuff. I came home with like 10 or 12 albums. Uh, I'm not going to show all of them here, I'll save that for the next video so I actually have something to show. Um, but two finds here. For four bucks, grab Manfred Mann's The Five Faces of Manfred Mann. I don't see their stuff a ton, and when I do it's usually the Dua Diddy album, which is great. This is kind of in the same vein, R&B, sort of mod rock. It's fun stuff, it's not quite as good as the Beatles of course, but these guys were hugely popular in Britain and uh, kind of came over in the British invasion wave of the 60s here in America too. So. Cool stuff, I enjoy it. Nothing mind-blowingly great, but for four bucks, I think it was a little bit of a deal, so, cool. All right, and I actually went back to Bloomington Normal on my way back from Chicago. Hit up uh, the guys at North Street, fantastic. Picked up, I think this was less than 10 bucks. This is Reflection, the present, sen the present tense, Songs of Sidney Carter. Uh, also, quasi-religious, 
folk psych, sort of. Some very tongue-in-cheek stuff in here, uh, like I want to have a little bomb like you, and uh, the vicar is a beatnik. Uh, the titles outweigh the cool of the tracks in some <laughs> cases, but um, I think it's uh, Standing in the Rain is the sort of standout musically on this one. And it's an import, yeah, import folk psych with that cover for 10 bucks. I'm on it every day of the week and twice on Sunday, so. <laughs> I was pretty excited to find this. Big Stars, uh, Radio City was my favorite album, my favorite find of 2016, and I found this for $10 at the show. This is an original copy of The Replacements, Pleased to Meet Me. These guys were heavily, heavily influenced by Alex Chilton and Big Star, to the point that I think Alex Chilton played on a couple of their songs when they were on Twin Tone. True. And then on this album, the second track is titled Alex Chilton. This is great power pop. Um, you'll see a lot of times it's like, Hyped up as punk? No, I don't. I don't hear any kind well, of. Well, the replacements, ones. Tim and Let It Be, are more yeah. alt punk, uh, yes. post punk stuff. Yeah, but this one's a this little bit just, poppier, right? Yeah, this, uh, the punk influencers are are kind of stripped away, and this is a lot more polished, um, upbeat, and poppy. It's it's big star influence, big time. The influences they're wearing it on their sleeve here. I really enjoyed this. Um, uh, Alex Chilton is a really good track. I also liked Red Red Wine on the on the B side, uh, and Shooting Dirty Pool, and then Can't Hardly Wait, the closing track. It closes on a high note, I think, and kind of makes you want to flip it over and do it all over again. So you would say it was worth it, and you do work it. You put the thing down, you flip, flip it, it, and then you reverse, reverse it. it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's So, uh, leave us a comment, let us know, give us a like, that sort of thing. We really appreciate everybody who tunes into this stuff. It really means a lot to us. It's a heck of a lot of fun doing it. We will see you next time. Until then, avoid scratches and stay in the groove.